Hi. Sorry about that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what, nothing like making it up as you go along. So, hello there. Uh, welcome to All About the Bass. Uh, I'm Nathan. I'm Lee. And today, hey, what are we looking at, Lee? <laughs> <laughs> we are looking at the new Spectre Euro LT. The LX. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Euro LX LT. That's exciting. Um, is this yeah. Euro, is this post Brexit basses? Oh, not yet, man. We could shout. Not shout. <laughs> yeah. We're not out these, yet. These aren't available in the UK, unfortunately. <laughs> but uh, look at what you would have won. Okay, what's the deal with these then, man? Right, so the normal so Euro, Euro range has been around with Spectre for a long time. We, we reviewed them for a while, while back. Um, and you've had options with like EMG and Aguilar pickups, fours and fives, six strings even as well. Um, whatever you want. Um, now there's another option. So this is the LT. This is um, a slightly different configuration. So you've got a slightly more lightweight old body right. in both the fours and the fives. Uh -huh. um, and a few extra little new specs. So like the Barcelona pickups, for example, is a custom wound for these bases um, with the dark glass tone capsule. Um, I see, preamp. I see, I see. So um, do these both have that? Uh, they do indeed, mate. They do, yeah, yeah, they do indeed. So uh, Dark Class seem to be getting involved, don't they, with a lot of base manufacturers? Because we've done yeah, yeah, ding yeah. walls. Yes, absolutely. Which, which come with the Dark Glass yeah. preamps. Oh, I forgot we were matching. Sorry, I got distracted then by our same T-shirts. <gasps> I know. That. This it, wasn't planned, by the way. It's so embarrassing, isn't it? We don't you, live together. When, you, well. <laughs> when <laughs> you turn up to a, <laughs> but a do, all oh, boy wearing the same thing. <gasps> That's it. all right. It's yeah, a bit of we'll a, it it's continuity. It's fine. I like it. Absolutely fine. Anyway, these are very pretty, aren't they? These bases. Oh, that say. in particular, that is a gorgeous, gorgeous colour. Yes, it's got a real sort of tiger vibe going yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Oh, yeah. So yeah, was that the tiger fade? So you reckon Caleb's these are lighter? I have to say, it's still, it's still, it's quite weighty to, to me. Yeah, I think they're still. Yeah, quite they're not the lightest of of bases no. for a light lightweight base, but it's meant to be, say, still sort of. Uh, just hollowed out a little bit more, or to say a nice choice, choice of wood where it's come to lightweight order. Mm. Um, you still got, say, maple necks, ebony board, this lovely flame, flaming maple top, that the is, wings they put on them. Yeah, say yours that as well. That does look man. very nice. And of course, they've got this this whole sort of curved body thing going on, which yes. is uh, you know the contentious. Who did that first? Who did it first? Look at that. Ooh, Spectre Warm nice. Warwick. But nice. yes, Spectre, I think. Well, let's not get into that. It's not starting Blimey, again. Yeah, that can of worms again. But yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So there we are. So yeah, absolutely. Curved body design, lightweight machine heads, lightweight goto tuners. Um, lightweight machine heads. Whatever next? Well, you know, trying to save every little bit of every little bit, every little pound. <laughs> <laughs> so um, yeah, man. So it's just um, something I've, we've got a couple of other specters here today with us. So we have it's one of the more of the standard Euro Four Alexis. This is one with uh, the Aguilar pickups. Um, and that one there, mate, you've got, you've got your EMGs, and that's a five string. Okay. Um, so these are, we'll compare these to, to what they're, what these are doing, basically, in a sec. Just see if you can, um, uh, we'll just get a different vibe. I mean, we haven't got the same pickup, so obviously these, these are new Bartolini, so they are going to have their own different voice anyway, straight away. Um, aside from the EMGs and the Aguilars. Oh, I see, you've got like a PJ sort of configuration going on there. I and do. I've got the, the double humbuckers. You've got the double humbuckers. Yes, with, uh, as we should mention as well, the little split, split options you have on that. No. Um, don't, don't mention it. Don't no. tell them. Well, I haven't got any. Look. Oh. That's all that does. Oh, it comes off. It's the other one. It's the other one does that, yeah. Sorry. No, we won't tell you because it doesn't exist. No. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, shall we? Shall we play? Do you want to play? No, I think, you, I think you should have a play. And, oh. I'll, and I'll, 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 have a, I'll go through and show uh, the boys and girls at home what they sound like. Come that on, That would be a jolly good idea. Come on, man. So look, as I said, we've got this sort of uh, precision jazz uh, pickup configuration here. Mm -hmm. And then what have we got here? We've got... Uh, bass and treble, Bass and treble, uh, okay. And that's, that's cut and boost. That is indeed, mate. Yeah, we've got the little detente, little yes. notch. Okay, all right. And then uh, just pick up selectors. Pretty, absolutely. Pretty straightforward, right? Yeah, man, absolutely. Okay. Uh, how could it... No, what could go wrong? What could... Well, yeah, I'm, I'm in control, so everything. All right, man. Let's start <laughs> off with the back pickup. <laughs> all right. I'm going to give you some chicken. I was going to try. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
That's about the size of that. Well, that's got a lot of nice, different uh, tonal uh, possibilities. Yeah, yeah. The, the, the P bass, the P bass. It's nice. Isn't it? Sounds great. Yeah. Is the that EQ right? is very EQ y. I, I, I'll give it that. Oh, it's really do do uh, do expand. Technical. Uh, <laughs> do expand. I, I'm doing my best. I'm expanding <laughs> on a weekly basis. Um, no, that's that, it's nice, man. It's a nice. Yeah. It's that that, that treble really kicks in. It you does. Wanna, you want to. You want to. Yeah. You don't want to. Crank that too high. Yeah, it seems to be a, a bit of a heads off. feature from for Spectre, sort of over, over the, really, the range. The, yeah, they've really got a. I oh, imagine sort of rock, uh, rock playing and stuff. That's going to be really handy. Oh yeah, so literally sort of full on, go like full mid scoop. Yeah, 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 EQ, yeah, yeah, yeah. This loud with a band. Like I say it's going to sound good, but still, yeah, it's still a lot of attack. But but yeah, that's your thing. This might be the best place to look, but but nice. yeah, these are as far as I know, these are now going to be in their range as part of their. It's part of their sort of yeah, part of the standard catalogue for this year. Nice man. Um, I think is there a few other colours? I'm going to ask Caleb. This just behind the counter here for us. Yeah, red fade. <gasps> red fade. Red fade. Our Love resident it. expert. Yes, Caleb. Yes, man. You guys will be meeting Caleb very soon. Um, but yeah, it's a red fade. Good night, mate. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> get used to it. There'll be loads of that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Red fade. And can you get the four in the in that colour yeah, as well? Yeah, get them all in the same uh, colour. as black satin as well. Ace. Lovely. So black, blue, red, and this kind of like the amber. Tiger, tiger. tiger burst. Lovely. Yeah. Good day, Tiger. Right. Wicked. Hey, shall I have a play of this one? Look, yes, let's do it, man. Because you've got different pickups and whatnot. Yeah, on this, absolutely. So let's have a go on this. Right, where are we starting? So, we'll start... Uh, yeah, back pickup. Everything off. Let's see what that's. That's probably got sounded very, very good. But let's see what it sounds like. It's a good starting point. Good start. Yeah, it's got a very, very big, say for that mid scoop sound. Mm. Oh, it's just all over it, isn't it? Quite lively, it's, isn't it? Yeah. Quite lively. Yeah, absolutely. All right, nice. Um, like nine, it again, but yeah, very, very, you've got to be tame with the treble. Tame with the treble. Uh, nine volt uh, preamp, then, I guess, in these, because yeah, I'm absolutely. just seeing one battery slot. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Set, say, through neck. Through neck design, literally, we've sort of pointed out that. So we've got three piece maple, maple necks that go through. I think yours might be in five, isn't it? No, it's still three, but yeah, straight through the body, so and, you uh, get that extra sustain. And, and so, obviously, the uh, million dollar question is, yes. how, how much are they? They are £2,050 for a four string. Okay. And uh, £2,150 for a five string. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's, that's all Thereabouts. right. But check the website, yeah, loads of loads of different finish options and in the fours and fives. But but yeah, so I think we've, we've got a few in stock at the moment. And yeah, if this is your bag, this is the new... Yeah, Spectre's new venture, 2019. Very nice, man. Very yeah. nice. Uh, very, uh, very attractive. Very attractive instruments, aren't like they? It. Yes. Shall we just compare to one of the Aguilars, like maybe just this one here, just uh, to see what this one? Sure. This one, just to give you a bit of an idea of just the different, 
uh, different uh, tastes on these pickups. Because the Bosnian yeah, yeah. are quite unique. Ooh, it's balanced. Oh, cheers, mate. This is Pick Ag Willard. Yes, yes. So, um... And that's what it sounds more like a sort of rosewoody, isn't it? Or not this is indeed. Some... Yes, yes. So, right. Because the, these ones, are, this is uh, ebony, isn't it? That is. Uh, yeah, yeah. So on these um, these LTs, they're using ebony boards. But yeah, on the standard Euros, it's normally um, it's normally rosewood. I think you can get some ebony options as well. But um, but yeah, mostly rosewood. This is the Aguilar setup. So um, this has still got the dark glass tone pump in it, I believe. Um, but but yeah. So this is the Aguilar Aguilar version. So right. Just to see if it does anything a bit different. So on these ones, we don't. This is basically just like uh, all boost, isn't it? Or, 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 oh, yes. or cut, which way, whichever way you want to look at. There, there's no kind of central. Oh, uh, yes. Yeah, so, so it's literally just all, or you just as you roll off, you've got nothing of it. Yeah, you play it. And yeah, yeah. What are you thinking about that? I don't know. I think the, the, the Bosnians seem more focused. Right. Me. I think they've got a bit more of a, um, I don't know, it's like a mid-range thing. This sounds a lot more, oh, it sounds, I'm not going to use any technical words, but clunky. I don't know if it's ready to set clunky. up on it. Okay. I, I guess, because this, for me, I don't know what you think, but I think that thing where you've got the cut and the boost on the EQ and the little centre click, that works better for me. Yeah. Because yeah, you can't you, know where you are. Yeah. Whereas, this is kind of just, what, the, you're guessing this a little. This is kind of like, is it all, is your tones, is it all off or is it all on or what, you know. Do you, know what? Do you get me, man? Yeah, me? yeah. In it. <laughs> is it? Um, yeah. Okay. Well, that's that's a bit of a taste. Say, so, say, so there's few, loads of options with this range. Um, yeah. To say the LTs are just some of the new bits, but oh, this one's just... got EMGs on, right? So this that is... one has EMGs. This one's kind of crazy. Oh, massive sort of output. And, um... Do you want to plug it in? Yeah, go on. Why? Let's do it. Let's do it. So again, with this one, there's no sort of centre click. So. Um, yeah, it's just sort of yeah, all or nothing. Or, but yeah, well, we it's, do have. It's not all or nothing because obviously. You, ah, hello. Hello. Oh, you got some little. Uh, oof! Look at that. Yeah. So some splitting options on this EMG. This is the normal Euro for five LX. So. Okay, so these switch it from a humbucker to a single coil if you pull it out. Yes. Right? Okay, and it's the same with the other bases. It's it's just a volume for each pickup. Yep. And then bass and treble. Uh, just like off it, or on. Is off it a booster or, or cut? Is it a booster I guess, or cut or what? I would it? say it was. Yeah, I thought it was a boost. It must Roll, be. A, yeah. I think it's, it's a, just a feel and sound thing. It's not. Yeah. yeah. I would say it's a bit. If you say if you come in, let's just see what it sounds like. Let's see every, what it everything like. off. Yeah, everything um, off. So we are there, and then both pickups on. So yeah. we start both pickups on, all EQ off. Yeah. This is what you get. Isn't it? It's very hot. Now, should we adjust the gain on this? <laughs> wow. Okay. So, you see, uh, this is what we're talking about them being much hotter output pickups. I've just had to put a 10 dB a pad in on that. But this sounds fine when you yeah. do that. So that's, okay, that's good. right. right. Now let's have a play. Thank you. 
Yeah, so that that was that was literally just everything all at the end. Everything just. But that, they they seem to suit sort of picked. Yeah. Place. Well, this one does anyway. Yeah, so nice. Suits, suits that quite well, doesn't it? That's and it has. I mean, you see, over the years, they expect to play as you think. Um, say, um, oh, are they are they, embra are they embraced sort of more by rock players? Do I, you that's, think that's how I know them? The dude from Madison Chains and uh, yeah, say so, say so, um, yeah, Rex from Pantera was always that pick. Straight into an ampeg, right? Like massive ampeg for these. That yeah, that just it's always that been that sound. Yeah, like with the pick. So more of that than the sort of been preferred. Uh, jazz. The funky you, well, jazz yeah, we try to play chicken on it. Yeah, it's probably not, <laughs> not the best thing to be doing. But um, but there we go. Yeah, it's a bit of an overview, a bit of a recap again on the Euro range and its new additions being the LTS. Well, absolutely. Yeah, yeah shut these little beauties off again because this is. Oh, it's a spectrum. I do love a blue. Yeah, there we go. Pretty bases. Yeah. Pretty bases. Pretty bases. Cool. And we'll see you next time for something else. Oh, well, yeah, of course. Come, you know, have a look on, on, the, uh, on the website. Check them all out. And uh, if you get the chance, come in the store and try them out. Have a chat to Caleb. Chat to Caleb. Yeah. And uh, he'll tell you what it's all about. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. And it's all about the bass. <laughs> it's mainly all about the bass. Mainly. Occasionally some trouble. Well, these is all about the trouble, actually. Isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Ow. Ow. Hope you've enjoyed this edition of All About the Base. If you have, great. If you haven't, I don't care. I'll see you next time. I'm Nathan. <laughs> I'm Lee. Bye. Bye.